Okay, so the biggest problem was the 12 position encoder, this one here. And it having a button, and in this one, obviously when it turns, it turn it, it turns the values, and this activates the value. So I was trying to figure out how does it know when this button gets pushed, what what connects what to what, and what's the value that this can be, that this would never be. And I couldn't figure out exactly how to do that until I had a look at this thing, how this works. So how that works is when you turn, for instance clockwise the resistance between these two will increase for example and here it will decrease this is the three wires coming out of out of the encoder those ones so if you turn the one way the one side will increase and the other side decrease if you turn the opposite way other side will increase and this side will decrease so by understanding that there will always be resistance on both sides I realized that the value that will never be reached by any of these sides is 0 or 100 resistance. So I use this as 0 on the programming. And then all of these values the, that this could be, I divided into 12 from 0 to 100 and from 0 to minus 100. And that's what I was will be using on the programming. So what I'm going to use is the 1 to 12 encoder mode. So that one uses port 3. So you have to connect everything to port 3 to your receiver. So I can't remember everything, how everything works. But I did make a remake the manual to make more sense and to make fix the mistakes. So I will put a link for the manual upload in the description. And then eventually maybe make a video about the manual. But now I can't really remember much of what I did when I did all of this. Um, so I can't explain the differences and what it said before and how it works now and all of that but uh, I will do that eventually but yeah basically just know that this MIDI video is mostly about the Dolph decoder mode so that's oh wait, so here's it. Um, so that's this one so this is the one that I will be explaining and showing how I set it up. What you need is the USB to TTL unit, this one from Banggood. There's different ones, I assume all of them will work, but this here is the important part. Ground TX RX, this shows how this specific model is because there at the bottom you see the TXRX it shows oh this is a sound unit so this was a mistake as well somewhere on Banggood or on this manual I can't remember where TX and RX was swapped so this is the correct way so this first ground then TX then RX same like yeah ground TX RX so you need to connect this with this USB to TTL and use TBS software to load it. So this will be this one here. And when you open this, <coughs> I'll put this also in the description links for this way to download. So you choose this one and then you upload all your sounds here so when your car comes when your sound unit comes it has default sound on it but this has no um, I don't know why but your first sound that it comes with programmed 
you will lose that you can't save it for some reason so you will lose your original sound when you program it and I think there might be one similar but I'm not sure if it is the original sound so that's only bad part so it uh, says sound 1, sound 2, sound 3, sound 4, sound 5 all of this is what you use in this part the parameters so here's where you choose let me s open this okay so this one must be on auto start speed must be on 200 this one must be on gas this third one is what you use for prop 3 so prop 1 there is where is the one that, that links with the um, with your how do you say it your, your throttle and then this one links with your extra channel that you have for extra buttons so like if you go to the manual here prop one is what you connect to your throttle input so that it syncs with your throttle so throttle wire splits in two and then one goes here and one goes to your esc and then it knows when you're accelerating that's why it has to say gas here and one to twelve is the one you need here and then these sounds here is what you select by this here and also here you can select the function with the sound this and this is linked by one two three so for instance at five where it says blink here you can for instance make your own indicator sound and you would be able to to put it there but then you'll have to put the sound here and then on this side you select that one one and two blink okay so Yes, everything from one. I don't use twelve. I only use eleven. So yes, everything. So this is one sound, two sound, three sound, four sound indicators. This one I can't remember what the sound this one is. Then or has it? I mean this one. Indicators one. Indicators left, right, for instance. Volume up and down, and then A five. Can't remember what's A five. Let's see. A5 is headlights, A4 is reverse, A3 is brake, and then A1 into indicators. So this is your headlights on off, indicators, hazards, and then your sounds. On this side must be your brake on A3, you say A3 here on the sound unit. This one here is where you connect your positives the negatives all go to um, this for instance your negative of your of either this or from your receiver it doesn't really matter so all of these are the positives of your LEDs so A3 auto on brake reverse is A4 on position uh, positive negative this you can change when it's for instance going on when you're driving forward instead of backwards and stuff like that and okay let's go sounds so here is your engine sounds and then these ones are the special sounds and then this works with all of these things so here you can change the sounds by importing them but it has to be a WAV file and it has to be small small 8, eight bits I don't know what it's called yeah 8 bits mono so I will make a video also eventually saying how to make your own 8 bit mono audio file but it's, uh, not a lot of programs left that shrink something to this small file but because it's a small you'll lose a lot of quality so it is quite a mission to make a decent sound file without it sounding 
it's funny but anyway so here's how you import that this one is from the Jaguar it's the nicest sounding sound to me <laughs> so I will also upload files of all the different sounds and also one sound from a custom sound that I made myself and then you guys can try that so here's how you do this and then so here's one two three and then five and one two three four five I don't know why four is blank I'll see why that is but you can use any sound for you I think I added the custom one here so I'll just change this file so if you guys upload it it will have a sound there so this is all you need the only problem here is this one here is important your speed this one here on the other end doesn't matter this can be any any value from 0 to 100 because this changes it back to whatever you want it so I was having a problem to write the parameters is easy but the sounds has a, a lot of problems especially with that Banggood USB to TTS I don't know if the original is better or if my USB to TTL what is it TTS TTL is faulty or what but you have to change that value check TTL okay so you have to change that value to random values until it works so I've noticed that if it doesn't work on 100 I make it like 50 or 70 and I keep going lower 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 and eventually it works also the fuller your memory is to here the more trouble it also sometimes gives you so then you can try things like making it all smaller but then this also has to be smaller so that's not really an uh, easy option but try changing this value and then until it successfully uploads and then you just reload your parameters so that this rewrites this value 